Guys, this is Mark. I'd like to introduce to you a new feature we added in Backendless Console called Backendless Navigator. With our goal to make you more productive and better and faster developer, we also wanted to make sure that you can find functionality you're looking for in Backendless Console as quickly as possible. And we believe Navigator does it very well. It is available with a keyboard shortcut or just a click on an icon in uh, Backendless Console, and you can just start typing away the keywords to find the, the functional area you're looking for. It also provides links to API documentation. There are links to some videos where you can just ask how certain things work, and if there is a match, you can be, you'll be able to play a video right there in Backendless Console. For many of the functional areas, we also added links uh, to the actual videos that describe those functional areas. Console these days is a fairly rich system. It gives you the front end for pretty much everything that Backendless Backend has. And uh, with Navigator, it, now it is even easier to be able to navigate to a certain functional area of Backendless. Let me demonstrate how Navigator works. To access Navigator in Backendless Console, you can use this icon right here or use the keyboard sh shortcut, which is Control shift f When you click on the icon or use, or use the shortcut, you get this pop-up. Uh, and in here, you can just start searching for the functionality that you need to find. So for instance, you want to find the log files. So start typing log files and you get the result log files. By the way, if you see this watch video little YouTube icon and you click on it, you'll get the video playing right in console that describes this very functional area that you searched for. So in this case, it's management of log files in Backendless Console. You can just click on the result and it navigates away directly to the area that you are uh, that you were looking for. In this case, it's the log files. Uh, let's say you want to find uh, your API services. So just search for API services and one of the results is the view API services. All other results also have the shortcut for API services so you can just search through all of these but this is the one that I was looking for. So here is my API service. Let's say I want to find the REST console for one of the data tables. So it's just search for REST console and as you can see it recognizes that I have multiple tables in my database so you select the one that you are interested in click on it and you get to the rest console for the table that you have selected uh, if you need to modify security for one of your tables just click and search for modify security and then once again for every single table that I have there is a link to modify security for that specific table click and now you are on the security permissions link if you want to access documentation so just search for API documentation and you get the documentation for iOS .NET JavaScript rest and, and so on and when you click on it uh, a new browser opens up with the documentation that you searched for in this case it was iOS uh, if you type something that doesn't have search results or we couldn't recognize it, then Backendless uh, automatically will track anything that we didn't we didn't find and uh, will notify us. So we'll look into the all the uh, logs that created by Navigator just to see how we can improve this further. Uh, so for example, if I just type something that cl clearly doesn't have it, this will be logged. And you can also here just click on this link to submit a support request uh, and describe what you were looking for and uh, how to find it. A very uh, common uh, inquiry that we get on the support is how to manage billing. So here, if you just type in billing, you'll go directly to the billing section of your uh, application and uh, uh, you can just start working with this. If you notice that you start that you use Navigator rather frequently, you can actually pin it down and it becomes part of your interface that you can search for those results anytime just by going here. So let's say if we want to do code generation. So we can generate, let's say, real-time chat for uh, for JavaScript. You click on it, and then automatically it goes to the generation. But notice that Navigator stay, stays right here, and it is always available to you, and uh, you can unpin it. So as you can see, it's a very, very cool feature that uh, has a lot of potential because now we have an ability to link pretty much any kind of query that the user does to search for a function or search for a description how certain things work. We have an ability to continue enhancing Backendless Navigator. And to do this, we don't really need to release a new version of Backendless Console. Uh, the system is completely dynamic where we can modify the content of the Navigator database 
uh, really on the fly. So hopefully you'll find this functionality useful. And uh, if you have any suggestions on how to make it even better, or uh, if you have any other ideas, just please let us know. Share uh, your feedback on the support forum on our, or our Slack channel. Thank you. And as always, happy coding.